had the opportunity um, to be a stringer on a video uh, 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 project, we'll say. Um, it was with Mashable. That's all I knew going into it. And I, I heard a little bit what it is. So they had a media day for Uber. And of course, you know, the I think I got the Advanced Technology Center, I think it's called here in, in town, which is actually over by 31st Street Bridge, over by where all the movie studio warehouses are and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so they had a media day because um, as of when this is out, um, they're actually going to start rolling out the self-driving car program. Um, that is um, what it is today. So it's the 14th, uh, uh, September 14th, officially they're doing this. Um, if you are an Uber user in, in the Pittsburgh area, uh, you will um, um, you will be able to uh, enroll or have already. You probably received an email by now if you qualified for this this beta. Basically, you opted in at some point that said you would like to you know get get updates for something like this. I, I'm not I'm a Lyft rider, so <laughs> <laughs> I've taken Uber once, so I haven't seen this. A lot um so and basically um when you when you call uh there's a chance that if you just get a uber x that one of them may be the self-driving car so you we've all seen it we've seen the pictures of it we've seen it on the streets here in pittsburgh if you're over uh in that direction especially um and so i had the opportunity again just taking some video stuff as as the reporter was doing what, what, what we we're doing so we got to take a ride now what's going to happen when this guy pulls up and it'll probably pull up automatically, autonomously. autonomously. Um, as it did for us. So we're, we're sitting there and, and we're waiting for it to come up. And uh, and uh, it's driving up. And then, then you know, the person said, it's like, that's driving up to us now on its own. Like, it's, it's on its way, on its own, right? Um, and it was really cool. Um, there's always, there's going to be, for now, two people in the car, in the front. And there's going to be a little notice of, uh, you know, don't, don't bring your family. <laughs> <laughs> don't bring more than two people. Don't bring a bunch of luggage or anything like that. I kind of imagine, I almost asked this while I was there, but I kind of imagine there's a lot of hardware in the trunk for this thing mm -hmm. to help support all the hardware that's going on. Um, and uh, and it was really cool. It was really cool. The guy is has his hands on, like, on the wheel, but, like, light on the wheel, you know? Like, in uh, uh, and there's another guy with a laptop that's that's tied into everything. By the way, I noticed when I look back at the footage, running Ubuntu, um, <laughs> and it's it shows all of the information that the car, basically what the car is seeing. Like this box, oh, there's a box here for this parked car. There's a box here. He pointed out at one point, and it's like if you see these yellow cars, we're over on Penn Avenue, and then, you know we're at a light, and there's some cars around us. There's some behind us too, but the yellow ones were the ones that basically the car is looking at. Okay, watch what those ones are doing in case we need to react to it. And you saw one that was like probably a pass about halfway point of the car. And it was grayed out. And it was like, well, if that one moves, there's nothing we can do about it. So it's not, uh, there's, they're not taking concern with it, right? Um, there were a few odd things. Like there's a box truck just parked, you know, in a lane on Penn Avenue. And it, it, the car basically interprets it as like, well, this car is like stopped. We're just waiting for it to go it doesn't know that it's actually parked there. Right. So mm -hmm. they had to take over and drive around it in that point. There was probably about two or three times where they had to take over. Um, sometimes like with a pedestrian, like they were, uh, we were over by, by the convention center and there was a pedestrian crossing and we we're trying to make a right turn and they just took over just to be safe. And mm -hmm. they were like, like normally we kind of just let it see what it would do. You know, and, uh, you know, kind of thing. And, and but, you know, they just kind of taken over to, you know, kind of not hang out downtown, like stopped, you know. Mm -hmm. At one point, we, were, we got to see a little bit of uh, three way, four way stops and how it behaves. It, it does the four way stop rules and tries to abide by that and looks at, you know, how the other cars are moving and, and tries to interpret that. We did get the one stop where it took a while to figure out what it wanted to do. <laughs> 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 little things like that. Um, so, so obviously it's not perfect, you know, and it's going to be a while before it is. But, but as much as it handled on its own was really impressive. They actually let the reporter get behind the wheel. Um, and she was very, <laughs> she was a little hands off of the wheel, like more so sitting there. And we're like kind of on the back street. So it wasn't like so big of a deal. Um, and uh, it was, it was, it was pretty cool. It was pretty, pretty cool. Um Here's a little screen that's going to be in the back, and they have a fun little selfie button and everything for you to take. And it does, it, you know, it has your account and everything being an Uber. 
channel probably tweeted out or something with the hashtag self driving Uber or something like that. Uh, from the looks of things. And even on the dash in the back, you'll get the information about your drive, but you also get a rendition, a version of like what the car sees, like the guy sees on the laptop. It's not as detailed as what the guy does on the laptop. It's more of a, um, it's more of like kind of a heat map in mm -hmm. comparison when I was looking at it. Uh, so.